Kylie Jenner made headlines last year when Forbes reported that she was the youngest self-made billionaire at 22 years old despite the controversy surrounding these claims, especially surrounding verbiage such as self-made. We have compiled a list of the top 10 youngest self-made billionaires and how they achieved their massive wealth. Before we dive in, make sure you don't miss our next video and subscribe with the button below. Number 10. Bobby Murphy Snapchat Inc. 32 years old, $11.9 billion While you may have never heard of this young billionaire, you've certainly heard of his app with a notorious ghost emoji logo, Snapchat. Bobby Murphy is the co-founder of the popular social media app, which enables users to send photos and short videos, which disappear after an allotted time frame. Murphy came from humble beginnings like our friend Mark Zuckerberg, Harvard. Unlike Zuckerberg, Murphy actually graduated in 2010 and received a Bachelor of Science in Math and Computational Science. All jokes aside, Murphy is a second-generation immigrant who grew up in Berkeley, California. Murphy met his eventual co-founders Evan Spiegel and Reggie Brown in the Kappa Sigma fraternity. Together they co-founded the disappearing image messaging app, named Peekaboo at the time, that would later become Snapchat during their junior year of college. As if passing a single class in math and computational science at Harvard isn't hard enough. After graduation, he worked as a software engineer for a year, stashing away half of his paycheck to cover startup costs. As we know, Snapchat was a huge success and IPO'd in 2017. Together, the co-founders owned greater than 30% of the company and retained control over the board. As a result, Murphy32 is now the 185th richest person in the world, according to Forbes. Number 9. Whitney Wolf Heard, Bumble, 31 years old, $1.3 billion Online dating has become a pivotal experience for young people in the digital age, beginning with the rise in popularity of Tinder. Speaking of Tinder, Whitney Wolf Heard co-founded this app which reinvented how people date. And, you know. Though Wolf Heard was hailed as a modern success story, she publicly sued Tinder in 2014 for sexual harassment claims. While she won the case and settled for about $1 million, she was barred from discussing the details. Instead of quietly taking her settlement and accepting defeat, Whitney decided to fight back in the most badass way possible, creating a company that would ultimately become Tinder's direct competitor. While the online dating app market was already highly saturated at the time, Heard realized that the market was alienating one key segment. Women her app Bumble changed the power dynamics of traditional dating apps and allowed women to make the first move. Bumble has been slowly gaining on Tinder in both users and revenue. Currently at a $4 billion valuation, Bumble trails Tinder by just $6 billion. Wolf Herd enjoys a comfortable 13% stake in Bumble Inc., which now operates in 150 countries and boasts 42 million monthly active users. When Bumble went public in 2021, she became the youngest self-made female billionaire at just 31 years old. Number 8. Xiu Li, Billy Billy, 31 years old, $3.4 billion Billy Billy, a Shanghai-based video-sharing website themed around animation, comics, and games, has become a huge hit among Gen Z in China. Xiu Li coded the prototype website just a few days after graduating from university in 2009. The site was inspired by other Chinese video sharing websites and was named after a protagonist in the anime A Certain Scientific Railgun. Many of its features are also inspired by that same anime. Xiu Li later gave control to billionaire tech mogul Chen Rui, who acted as CEO and chairman ever since. Billy Billy IPO'd for nearly half a billion dollars in the US and remains one of China's largest media companies. Number 7. Nick Molnar, Afterpay, 30 years old, $1.8 billion. You may have seen this Buy Now Pay Later platforms logo when shopping online this last year. Afterpay was founded by Nick Molnar, who has become an Australian icon. The 30-year-old reinvented spending habits with his startup Afterpay, which enables users to easily pay for their purchases in interest-free increments. 
Since the quarantine-inspired spending habits changed globally, the stock has skyrocketed over 1,300% and doubled its user base. As a result of this exponential gain, Molnar became a billionaire this year at just 30 years old. Molnar founded Afterpay in 2014 as a response to growing skepticism towards traditional credit cards and loans amongst young people who grew up during the 2008 recession. Unlike traditional credit models, the fee model is transferred to the retailers who pay commission on sales made with Afterpay. While Afterpay raised $18 million in 2016, the business really grew after an endorsement from Kim Kardashian West on Twitter. Afterpay is available on both Kim and her sister Kylie's e-commerce stores, as well as large brands such as Lululemon and Adidas. Number 6. John Collison – Stripe 30 years old, $3.2 billion. John Collison is another billionaire who made his fortune in e-commerce. Though Collison is a serial entrepreneur and founded his first company in 2007, he is best known for his involvement with the popular payment software company Stripe. Collison grew up in Limerick, Ireland and attended Harvard University in 2009. In 2010, Collison co-founded Stripe as a simplified online payment processor. Against all odds, the brothers from Limerick received backing from an impressive lineup of venture capitalists, including Tesla founder Elon Musk and even the founder Peter Thiel of its direct competitor PayPal. Since then, Stripe has become one of tech's biggest bets and is currently valued at $95 billion. Number 5. Evan Spiegel – Snap Inc. 30 years old – $11.1 billion Spiegel is the second of three co-founders to Snap Inc., which owns Snapchat. He grew up in Los Angeles, California, and his parents were lawyers. His ambition started early in life. He took design classes at a local college as well as Stanford while in high school. He pitched the idea for Snapchat as a design class project while studying project design at Stanford. Though he was mocked by his peers, he continued to develop the prototype later that year. Unlike his co-founder, Spiegel left university to focus on Snapchat before completing his degree. However, we have a feeling that he's not going to be using any degree since this 30-year-old is now a deca-billionaire. Number 4. Sam Bankman-Fried – Crypto Founder and Investor, 29 years old, $8.7 billion Sam Bankman-Fried is a 29-year-old crypto billionaire. He first acquired wealth through investing in cryptocurrency and even gained a cult following online. After graduating from MIT, in 2017 he founded Alameda, a crypto trading firm. Just a year later, Bankman-Fried would go on to build FTX, a crypto exchange marketplace. Today, FTX is the largest exchange outside of China. Bankman-Fried is known for his veganism as well as his altruism, unlike many greedy Wall Street brokers. Number 3. Stanley Tang – DoorDash – 28 years old, $2 billion Stanley Tang is the co-founder of another quarantine staple, DoorDash. The delivery app was responsible for 45% of all food delivery orders in 2020. Similar to many other tech billionaires, Fang grew up in Hong Kong and attended Stanford University where he met his co-founders. They started DoorDash while they were still students after speaking with restaurant owners about their largest challenges. DoorDash was originally backed by Y Combinator before they even graduated university. Number 2. Andy Fang – DoorDash – 28 years old, $2 billion Andy Fang is another co-founder of DoorDash. He grew up in California in Silicon Valley and attended Stanford University where he met his co-founders. At just 23 years old, Fang was listed in Forbes Top 30 Under 30 and accomplished what most wouldn't even dream of in their lifetime. Number 1. Austin Russell – Autonomous Car Tech – 26 years old, $2.4 billion while the name Austin Russell may not ring a bell, he's accumulated more than double the net worth of Kylie Jenner and become the world's youngest new self-made billionaire at just 25 years old. 
From an early age, Russell already had a track record of achievements, including memorizing the periodic table of elements by two years old and filing his first patent at 13 years old. In his teens, he spent time doing research at the University of California in Irvine. Russell is frequently touted as an optics genius and created luminar technologies at just 17 years old while studying physics at Stanford. Are you noticing a pattern? Luminar is an autonomous vehicle sensor and software company with a mission to make autonomy safe. Like his contemporaries, Russell dropped out of college to pursue his company. He received a $100,000 grant from a program funded by Peter Thiel, co-founder of PayPal. Intriguingly, though Russell's educational pedigree is impressive, he claims he's accumulated most of his knowledge from Wikipedia and YouTube. Can you imagine actually getting your PhD from the University of Google? Clearly, there are some patterns that make up these young billionaire stories. Step 1. Grow up in Silicon Valley. Step 2. Go to Harvard. Nonetheless, their accomplishments are incredible and enviable. Would you still work in your startup with a net worth that high? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.